chocolate if like if chocolate could work out and sweat. If chocolate used too much hair product. If chocolate had bow legs and walked into a room and said, what are we doing? What are we doing? If chocolate had comedy elbows. If chocolate wore a stocking cap for no apparent reason all the time. Regardless of season. You know the only time you won't wear a stocking cap? Skiing. Oh. <laughs> he refuses. He has a long hair. So good. And he always says like, if only they made a hat that would hold my hair in place when I ski. Like the stocking cap I always wear. <laughs> How many of you are my sanctified, rarefied, anointed Friday people? How many of you? Well done. You're proud of yourselves. You get it. You gave all. Some gave all. That some was Friday people. How many of you joined us yesterday and are our Saturday people? How many of you are fiscally responsible and attend to things like work and school and are now our Sunday people? Who's just showing up today? Right, I get it. The economy and the outside world does need to keep moving along. I understand that we can't bring the world to a screeching halt. If we were all Friday people, Rob, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the planet would function. You know what I mean? The bad for society. The commerce would just go. So we thank you, Sunday people, for letting us go be Friday. Exactly. We appreciate it very much. And how many of you in this fine, fine, fine establishment are experiencing your very first ever supernatural convention? How many? That's a boatload. That's a lot of people. I like that. It's the last show of the year. You showed up. This is it. This is the finale. Closing the curtain after this. We're deflating the band. Roll them back up. Seal them in those vacuum bags. <laughs> Wait till next year to whip them back out. Blow them up. <laughs> that's, how they, that's how they function. They're like a used car lot. <laughs> Kidding, they're real people. Here's the thing. It's been a heck of a weekend. I mean, my goodness. How many of you were wise enough to give up sleep on Friday night in exchange for an evening I like to call the karaoke? Brilliant. Well done. How many of you also were smart enough and savvy enough to spend last night with us in this room for the Saturday Night Special? Another epic show by this band. And how many of you did both the karaoke and the Saturday Night Special? How many? You are the ones we like to call the tired. Tired. Uh, they get it though, Robbie. Sleep be damned. This is a supernatural convention. It's supernatural. Everything is damned. Why shouldn't sleep be damned too? You don't need sleep. You sleep when you're dead, and on Supernatural, nobody's ever really dead, so you'll never sleep. Don't care, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, you're here for the ride. And it's been a heck of a ride. Oh my goodness. And the whole thing is played out with the delicate sounds of Los Angeles indie sensation playing the soundtrack for you live and in person. It's loud and swaying over here in my now. I've been doing a lot of sucking up to the band this weekend, and that's largely because Secret Santa is just around the corner, and I want to be sure that I get something nice. I don't want to screw up and get a bag of socks, you know? I don't know who's going to get my name, but I want to be sure they know that I appreciate what they do. If you don't want socks, you better hope that you didn't get Steve Norton drawing your name. Steve Socks Norton? Yeah, Mr. Socks. <laughs> 
If you get if you get a bunch of wires, that'll be a that'll be more fun. If uh, what, 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 what's your season you gift? You'll get a signed autograph from Rob Benedict. Uh, from Rob Benedict. And if I get uh, divorce papers because my wife is leaving, that's when Billy Miranda showed up. <laughs> He didn't give me anything except for my freedom because he's taking my family with him because he's Billy Moran and he's here to destroy all that I will do. He can't help it. Here's what I'm going to say in my sucking up for the band on this Sunday. Many, many, many years ago, with the blessing of Adam Malin, Gary Berman, Stephanie Dizon, we started a process of reinventing what the modern convention looks like. We took what we thought was a model that needed some freshening up. We put a little spit shine on it. Matt Cohen, Robin Dick, myself. And I will go to the mat saying, no matter what convention you go to for whatever show you enjoy, whether it's a mixed media show like a Comic Con or a show, a single show, one like The Vampire Diaries or any other show you go to, I'm going to hang my hat on the fact that the Supernatural Convention Circuit is the tightest, most entertaining show on the circuit. And there's a reason for that. You come because you love this show. We have three powerhouse stars of this show who are here today. Jared Jensen and Misha, fabulous guys. And you come to see them. And they are great people who are fun to work with, and fun to hang out with, and have kept that show in the air for 13 years, and hopefully beyond. We love it about them. But the backbone of the convention, of the three-day weekend that you have come to enjoy, that you watch online, and that you travel all over the world to visit, the backbone is made up of these four gentlemen to my left, Lab and Swain right there. Nobody works harder on the tour. Nobody does more to accommodate the new performers and the veteran performers. They learn songs to bring people on stage. They learn songs to bring people off stage. They create a concert that is worthy of any stadium. And they perform it in this hall. And they do it while also learning songs for other people in other genres so they can have a moment on the stage to express their musical abilities. They do that all with a spring in their step and a smile on their heart. They're good dudes who have families and lives outside this and they decided to give their time to this convention circuit. A round of applause for Loudon Swain over here to my left. Let's say hi to the boys who make it happen playing the drums like he gives a shit. Steven Norton! <laughs> On the bass guitar, a man who's not only a heck of a bassist, a heck of a lyricist, also plays that piano pretty damn well. That's Michael Borja! Sit down with the boys, like I said, the founding father of the convention circuit as we know it, Mr. Adam Malin! Thank <laughs> you. 